Uh, let's go fishing. It's incredibly hot. Water is like a mirror. Everything looks good. Good day for a catfish. What I would like to show you today is my favorite style of fishing. Fishing with clonk and catfish teaser. I fish with catfish teasers for more than 10 years and it's absolutely amazing lure. Especially for fast fishing when you have only 3-4 hours after the work. You go fishing, boom, you catch a catfish. But first of all, you need to know how to use it. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So, this is the amazing catfish clone teaser. You can use it with dead fish, live fish, worms, squid, whatever you like. This is actually the very first catfish lure with sound, even under the water, with smell, because of the bait, and with movements. I can show you right now how it works under the water. A lot of people fish with worms, but they put the worm on the hook like this and that's not the right way it's much better to cover the hook as much as we can so we take the worm fat end bigger end and put it on the hook like this one or two centimeters and then take the hook out take another worm and do exactly the same thing put it into the worm and take it out and like this we cover the whole hook and you can see only the sharp tip of the hook the hook is covered you don't need to use too many worms six seven eight is completely enough so movements and smell in the same time let's talk as well a little bit about rod line and reel you can use classic spinning reel or small multiplier. Braided line, 20, 30 kilos, it's enough. If you know how to use drag, then it's perfect. Of course, if it's a big fish and your drag is fully tight, goodbye. But what's the most important thing is interline. Anthony, please pass me your rod with classic guides. We fish a lot in the night. And what happens pretty often is that the line gets tangled around second or third guide. If that happens in the middle of the night and you don't know about it, boom, rod breaks immediately. With interline rods where is no guide, this can't happen and that's very important. You have two options. You can put your bait or lure in the water and hold the rod like this and wait and if you get a take, you strike. This is very slow and you need to be very fast. Clonking, it's about how fast you are and how fast you can react on the movements of catfish. That's why I prefer to leave my rod in the rod holder and hold the line in my hand, which can look pretty scary, especially if down there is fish over two meters. It hurts if you don't drop the line in time. Okay, so now, the lure is three meters under the boat. Moving with the lure up and down five, ten centimeters, no more. And you start clonking. We are right now in the bay with uh, four meters under the boat, which is not much for uh, clonking, but it's fine. Now when I start fishing, I take the clonk and start like this. Three, four, five. Still moving with the lure. And I watch the screen of the fish finder. If nothing happened, I wait, let's say, 30, 40 seconds. I go again. One, five. 
Once you see a fish on the fish finder and the fish goes up, never clonk, just wait. You start clonking again when the fish turns and goes down. But then, just only one hit, that's fine. And when the fish turns against towards your bait, you wait. Then you might get a take. When the fish turns down again, boom. Like this all the time. It sounds easy, but you need to practice a lot. What's as well very important is how to hold the line. Not like this, of course. If you hold the line like this, your finger, you can say goodbye straight away if there is a fish. So, you take your thumb, put it here, and hold the line here. So, it's hard to pull the line out. And once you get a take, you hit the fish and then drop it straight away. Here you can see there was a fish yesterday. Movements with clonk teaser are very important in a good way, bad way as well. If you move too fast you can scare the fish. So your movements are between 5 and 10 centimeters up and down. And once you see catfish coming towards your teaser you do fast three, four, five movements and then you leave it and wait if catfish grabs the lure or goes down again. Once the catfish goes down again, you clonk again. Fish on! Once you touch the catfish and the fish is calm like this, no problem. Then you can try to land it. Small catfish, you can stick your tongue inside, but this one is a little bit bigger, so it's, it's better to put four fingers in, but you have to be really careful. Beautiful fish, 160, 165, very good fight with amazing clone teaser. Thank you. It was a good day.